We could learn today if a jawbone found on the beach in Aruba more than a week ago belongs to Natalie Holloway, the American teen who disappeared five years ago now. CBS News correspondent Kelly Kobiea is in the Aruban capital this morning. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. That fragment of a jawbone found on a beach here in Aruba has been in the hands of investigators in the Netherlands for DNA testing for more than a week now. And Natalie's parents could learn answers as early as today. The new evidence, a jawbone with an intact molar, has been in the hands of investigators for almost a week. According to some experts, by comparing the bone with Holloway's dental records, authorities should know if it's Natalie's. And this five-year mystery may finally draw to a close. I believe that at this point in time, the results are in their hands. They may simply be waiting for DNA to confirm what they already know. It was a blast. I had best time of my life. 18-year-old Holloway disappeared during a senior class trip in 2005. Her mother is desperately waiting for answers, saying in a statement, there is no good answer whether it is Natalie or whether it isn't, but no answer at all is most unbearable. Holloway was last seen with Joran Vandersloot, who was arrested twice in connection with her disappearance, but never charged. Vandersloot is currently awaiting trial in a Peruvian prison for the murder of 21-year-old Stephanie Flores last May. Experts say if the jawbone turns out to be Holloway's, it could be enough evidence for prosecutors to finally tie Vandersloot to Holloway's death. The first element the prosecutors would have to prove in a murder case is that Natalie is deceased. Now they would have that evidence. They can combine it with Joran's previous inconsistent statements, with his confessions arguably to having killed her. Now they have a case against him. DNA test results could be released today if, in fact, this jawbone is part of the remains of Natalie Holloway. There are still a lot of questions for investigators. Where are the rest of her remains and how did she die? Jeff. All right, Kelly Cobia in Aruba this morning. Kelly, thank you.